Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. If you're looking to set up multiple SmartThings sensors in your home to trigger security notifications because you've been getting some spurious or some untrue notifications basically, then this is the video for you. Now this is hard to explain, but essentially a motion sensor or a contact sensor can sometimes have false positives. And this is very common in the automation industry. We see this all the time. And what we do is we do something called a voting scheme. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to set up today. Now, as I go into the SmartThings application, and this is the new SmartThings application, what I wanna tell you is that this question was submitted by one of my Patreon followers. So this is directly from one of those individuals and you can see the names of those individuals now, but essentially those people get the opportunity to ask me questions like this and get content created specifically for them. So for a small amount, you can get access to a great community, plus be able to ask questions just like this. Now the first thing you're going to need, and you can see my smart home monitor here in the application already set up. This is the first thing you need to do. And if you don't already have it set up, well then you just hit the plus up at the top and you can see add automation. And now you're going to get the opportunity to start the smart home monitor. Now you can see mine is grayed out and that's because I've already set it up. But once you hit that, you're going to get the screen I'm going to show you next. So again, you can see mine says it's on, the security system is on, and so I'm going to tap into that, and now what we're doing is we're setting up the different statuses. So you can see up at the top, set up armed away. Now, away means that you're physically away, and you can actually set up your phone to do this, to basically trigger on or send you notifications at this point to trigger on your security system here with smart things. Now, you could check off use all sensors and that would use all of your open and close or multi-purpose sensors as well as your motion sensors and other devices that you have in your home. But what I'm going to tell you today is if you're trying to use two devices as essentially a voting scheme, so say two motion sensors, then you're not going to want to include them. So what I've done is I've included my garage entry sensor in this scheme. And so I have not included that in my security system. My laundry door system sensor, I'm leaving out as well because it's uh, for a laundry door. But anyways, now going to the motion sensors, because what I'm doing here is I'm using one type of sensor, so a multi-purpose sensor and a motion sensor to be my two triggers my voting scheme. So you can again see that the kitchen motion sensor is not included in something that will trigger my armed system to notify me that someone has you know broken into my home here. My walk-in closet sensor I've left on just because it's another movement sensor that I can know where people are. So now I'm going to hit next and we're going to look at the next status which is armed but stay. So this is armed like at night. This is kind of what you do at night. Again, I have the exact same setup for my sensors. You could change this if you wanted to. You can pick which ones you want to have set up and which ones you don't in each situation, but I'm going to leave them exactly the same and hit next. Next is the response section. So what do you want to have happen here? So there's a push notification that I've turned on and that's obviously directly related to this phone here. And you could turn on sirens if you had them available. Those are specific devices. You have alert duration. So how long do you want that to actually play that siren for? And do you want to delay before that alert starts so that someone could actually go into the application and turn off your arming basically just similar to what you've seen in most homes when you come in and they have a security system they've got to enter in their code now you could also adjust lights and this is a interesting component for later that we'll talk about so 
if you set one light very specifically to be a security alarm light or a switch or a number of different items, you, you could basically use that going forward. So think about that when we talk about using if this then that to extend this functionality as we go forward. There's also the ability now within this new SmartThings application to use certain devices to trigger on a audio notification. So you can see I selected the TV room, which is actually a Sonos Play One speaker. Now you can go ahead and choose the notification sound. So really this is acting a lot like a siren and I could utilize a Sonos device and a number of other speakers, not your Google Home or your Amazon Echo product at this point, but you could use that to basically trigger a notification sound. So I've gone ahead and hit next and here's the security mode reminder component. So this is based on, you know, do you want a reminder when you leave to turn on your security system and when you arrive to turn off your security system. I've turned mine both on and I'm also selecting my iPhone. Now you can see there's two there. This is just because we're moving through two applications, but I could really choose both or either of those and those would then get reminders for me, okay? So now I've set up my smart home monitor and of course I've left out those two components of the smart home uh, security system and I have to hit allow here and then it basically allows all of that to happen on my phone and on my Samsung SmartThings hub. So now that we have our security system set up, let me show you the next component to this and it is another automation. So we're hitting that plus up at the top and we're adding another automation. Now this is going to be a custom automation and this is one of the great new components to Samsung SmartThings and their new application because it is not just simply if this then that, like the service if this then that, it is if this and if this and if this, or it's if this or this. So let me show you what I mean by that. We're gonna call this, and I already have one set up, but I'm going to call it voting scheme and I'm gonna call this number two in this case. And then I'm going to hit done and I'm going to add a condition. Now, my security mode, because I've set up that smart thing security system, is right here and I can go ahead and I can choose which, um, which mode I want to utilize this automation during. So I'm going to choose away and you would have to set this up twice if you wanted it to be both for away and your stay. Um, those two situations. Now, moving on, I have that in my if statement. Now I'm going to add another if. Now this is based on a device status. So now remember I wanted my garage entry sensor to be the contact sensor. So I'm going to use that and when it's open and I'm going to hit done, that's now uh, another component to the if statement. Now I'm going to hit plus again to add another condition and based on my kitchen motion sensor, I'm going to hit that, then motion and motion detected. So what I'm doing here is I have my motion sensor and my garage entry sensor. Basically both of those have to trigger and my security system has to be armed. Now, you could remove any of these components or you could add additional components. You could set it based on a time of day or a member's location. So I could actually set that based on my phone's location being out of the home and that would mean I could trigger this part of my automation on immediately. Now the question is, what do we do after that? So what is our action? So I'm going to hit add action and here's where I can go ahead and notify members. So I can add a notification message, which is, I'm just gonna call it voting, voting scheme. Apparently I can't type this morning. And I could again, add an audio device, although I disconnected my Sonos here in between takes, but 
Now I'm hitting next and it's sending me that notification. Now remember when I talked about controlling another device to trigger something in if this then that. I could control a device. And so if I go ahead and I turn on a specific light, and we can call it the security lamp. You could add that, stick it to a lamp, stick it in the corner of your home, and as long as it's always connected and turned on or capable of turning on, you could modify that uh, or you could uh, actually adjust the state of that and that would allow you to go and use if this and that to extend the functionality for you here. You can send text messages from uh, if this and that. You can send other components like uh, emails and you can trigger recordings of cameras and you can do all kinds of other things with external systems. So I'll show you that in a minute here. For now, I'm just going to hit save and that is saving this automation. Now, like I said, I already had one set up. There's my voting scheme and you now see I have voting scheme too. If I don't want the second one, I can just go ahead and turn that off. But remember, you'd have to set up two, one for away and one for stay if you wanted this automation to work all the time when your system is armed. Now, I said I would show you in If This Then That how you could then go and extend this functionality and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn on a camera to start that recording basically from that light triggering on and that's why it's so important that you could use this third device. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a new applet basically. So I've gone into my applets and I've hit the plus. Now if and I've got to search for Samsung smart things here if I have a device switched on, and so again, I could choose any of my devices, my basement lamp will say is, is the one I'm using as part of that if then statement in the SmartThings application, then I can go ahead and I'm going to show you just with a wise cam that I can go ahead and start a basically record a short video clip right here. I can choose my camera. I could trigger all of the cameras if I'd like, and then I just have to hit create action. So now I've gone ahead and if that lamp is turned on, I start recording. So you can see how you can take the functionality straight from Samsung SmartThings, go all the way to if this then that, and utilize a lot of different services to trigger all kinds of functionality that you might want. Now I hope this was very helpful and of course that link to our Patreon site is on the page here. You can find it in the description, you can find it in a number of places. We want you to go and join us there, join that community because we are starting to discuss some really detailed things there and you get specialized content created for you like this video here that was created for Thomas, one of our patrons over there. So. Thanks everyone for watching and here come the links for you to go ahead and join us as well as watch some of our other great smart home content.